Welcome back to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. Today I'd like to take the opportunity to do a follow-up video on the Scorpio Technologies robotic arm that I originally uploaded to my channel quite some time ago. Now the reason for this update is because I was recently contacted by a high school student called Cassie. Cassie asked me if it was possible to share my Scorpio Robotics CAD files with them so they could make the robot arm and showcase it at their high school, bringing focus to the subject called STEM. Now STEM means Science, Technology, Engineering and Math. Now one of the things I love about being a high school educator and an Autodesk Fusion 360 evangelist is the opportunity to give back and pay it forward. The robot arm project was one I personally did with my VCE engineering students a very long time ago. In actual fact, it was way back in 2009. It's so long ago that the footage was originally shot on a Nokia mobile phone at 240p. Now this robotic arm comes from an educational supply company here in Melbourne called Scorpio Technology. This is not a product placement ad, I'm just providing you with some background. The robot arm is an electromechanical system that uses electric motors and gears to operate. The robot arm has five axes of movement. These are the arm, the forearm, the wrist, the gripper, and gripper rotation. Now when you purchase this kit from Scorpio, they supply all the motors, gearbox, housing, gears and shafts. However, they do not supply the plastic frame parts. I would make my students CAD model all the parts and allow them to CNC machine these from acrylic on our Roland MDX540 milling machine. In later years, I'd let them use the DXF files produced from the CAD system and laser cut. Now the CAD system we used back in the day was PTC Pro Desktop. It was a free program, full 3D parametric modelling program, that was free to students and educators. Thankfully today we have access to one of the best CAD CAM and CAE design systems on the market. And of course you know I'm talking about Autodesk Fusion 360. So to help young Cassie out today, I've exported all the robot arm files as step files and imported them into Fusion 360. Once uploaded to the cloud, I converted these into Fusion F3D archive files. To assemble this model, I've used old-fashioned bottom-up modelling techniques and imported all files into an assembly. A series of rigid and revolute joints were applied to the model to ensure proof of concept. Upon completion, I applied joint limits to all the axes to stop the axes from overdriving. I've created URL download links for all these files and will attach these in the video description area of this video. Feel free to use them. Once again, I thank you for stopping by my channel and for your continuing support. If you or your academic institution would like to know about Fusion 360, please feel free to drop me an email. I will reach out to my contacts in the Autodesk education team and see what assistance they might be able to offer. Unfortunately, this offer for assistance is only for Australian academic institutions. In closing, feel free to follow me on other social media platforms and I'll provide links in the description area. Oh, and you'll be pleased to know that I've started another YouTube channel called Aaron Engineering. This channel will focus on manual machining and fabrication DIY builds, so you won't have to put up with me talking and or teaching. Enjoy your day and I'll catch you on the next video. See you later.